this point, um, my captain, uh, Jeff Lecoque, at the top of the hill that's running the investigation, um, says we believe we're down to three animals that are unaccountable. Uh, one is a mountain lion, one is a bear, and one is a monkey. Um, now, I can tell you uh, that we are still searching the property for, to make sure the animals that we shot last night because we had a lot of people here. Uh, we did have one of the monkeys that was killed by one of the lions. It was very obvious last night. Um, so, again, we are down to what we feel are, are three animals, um, uh, and, and that's going to be a preliminary number until we can really uh, sit down and, and confirm everything that we've got there. And, and obviously, uh, we want to tell our public, um, you know, the last animal we had, we found bedded down. As Jack said, the rain could be doing that. Um, the, the vets and the, the people he has with him have told us that sometimes these animals will let all the hoopla die down and come back to the only place they've known. In other words, filthy. Uh, and right now, according to what the sheriff just told me, we're going to try and take what's left. I'm not talking about horses and cows. I'm talking about the cats that are left in primate, to my understanding, the Columbus Zoo in the wild, to give them a home, assess their, you know, how they're doing, and that thing, who knows where they'll end up. According, They're still owned by these folks, but right now I'm trying to help them and, and take the problem away from them first temporarily. Uh, we have some animal rights issues here right now. People not understanding why the animals had to be killed last night. You have to understand something. We have human life and animal life. Nobody loves animals more than Jack Hanna. Nobody. But you have human beings involved here. It's dark, right? One of these bears tried to poach the cruisers. I mean, you can't have, there's neighborhoods around here. You can't have bears, lions, tigers, and leopards running around in a neighborhood here. It just cannot be. Uh, and that's what happened. The sheriff had to make the decision. What are you going to do? Have children out running around here and, and lions and tigers running around? It can't be. So we're trying to assess what's left over right now. The man that owns it is dead now, so we can't talk to him. What happened to him? Uh, you know? I, someone said he took his own life. I don't know. That's all rumor, you know. I have no idea. It sounds like maybe he might have cut all the cages, let everything free, and took his own life. Who knows? Maybe somebody did that, too. I, I don't know. Well, what's the accounting? What, what are the numbers? How many animals did he Well, have my, understand, my understanding is about 45. I heard all kinds of rumors again. 31 are down, I understand, roughly. Uh, so we have about six accounted for up there. So it might be, what, eight or ten missing. What's the most exotic animal that you've heard of in this collection? Well, tigers, lions, leopards, bears. What kind <laughs> I of tigers? Mean, I probably Bengal tigers. I don't know. Tigers are endangered species, but again, I don't know what listing he had or when he bought them. It all depends on how he owned them, and that's the thing we're working on now is to get these laws passed. I know Governor Strickland had a bill in front of him, but the point is you can have all the bills you want. Who's going to pay for the people that are going to go out and monitor all this? Where are these animals going to go if you take the animals from people? Where are we going to put them? Can't put them inside the Columbus Zoo. We're finding homes for these right now. We have to stop the source of these animals. It's like drugs, there's two animal auctions I know of in the state of Ohio that have to be shut down immediately. That way, that'll help us. I think that'll solve 75% of the problem when we shut these auctions down.